This is the Iron Man Mark I arc reactor that I made. Um, this is the third one that I've made, and it's probably the best out of all of them. It's almost movie accurate, but there's a couple things that aren't. Alright, so I'll tell you about little things I did in here. So this outer ring, you can see here, um, the parts that the light will actually show through, that is a uh, Lexan ring that I cut with a bandsaw. And all around it, it's actual copper wire just wrapped, 10 spots. And then I uh, used epoxy to create little, so it looks like solder points here. Um, and then I laid the copper wire, the same wire here, just in there, from there to there to there, all the way around it. It's pretty time consuming, but it uh, really, really helps the look and it makes it movie accurate. So the dimensions to this reactor are about uh, 4 inches in diameter and the one thing I really really don't like about this project was how thick it ended up being at the end. See I think it's somewhere probably around yeah a little less than an inch and a half. So it, it kinda hurts the project but there's no way I could uh, fit any other parts in the uh, in any smaller of a space. So this inner ring is just a uh, thin Lexan that I painted black. I cut it with a bandsaw and used a Dremel to smooth everything out. And these little tiny slots, there's I believe seven of them. Um, I think there's actually nine in the movie prop, but there was no way I was doing nine of those, and I couldn't even fit them in. And to cut those, I use this Dremel tool. It's very, very helpful. Let's see if I can get that in there. It just has these little tiny grooves, and you can move it back and forth, and uh, it works very well. And holding this black ring in here is uh, little pieces of bent uh, sheet metal, very, very thin and it's super glued to the black ring and just for detail I uh, drilled holes and put little tiny screws in so you can see here little tiny screws and down here there's allen screws as to match the movie prop and then going in a bit we have this inner ring which is just a piece of three-quarter inch PVC uh, painted silver and wrapped with copper wire each on these three points in between these prongs and then even in further back behind you can see this gold all that is is the bottom to a pop can soda can and it's painted gold spray paint with a uh, hole cut in it so this ring will uh, sink into it and then you can see in between these grooves you can see like a floating copper wire that's just copper wire wound up a couple of times and then uh, super glued behind each one of these points um, and then back behind it there's I believe 13 LEDs uh, one behind each space here um, and three in the middle and in the middle there's a piece of plastic from a tap light that diffuses the light and this black screen that was spray painted black. Um, all of the LEDs are mounted in another sheet of this Lexan. They are um, they were all sanded down, and they were all countersinked and mounted into these holes. And that sits behind this. And all of this uh, Lexan is sanded and buffed to make it a little less see through, so the light will bounce a little more. They were all wired with resistors. I'll show you a picture of the back of this before it was all put in the encasing with all the resistors and the wiring. Alright, all of the LEDs are powered by three AAA batteries that I stole from a, a flashlight actually. One of these flashlights. These uh, cheap flashlights you can get it mostly any hardware store but it's just one of those battery packs I stole I soldered a wire going into the back lead of the battery pack and the front lead going into a switch leading all the way from my wire 
all the way down here into the base of the reactor. So you press this switch and you get light. I think it looks pretty good, but um, a couple of things that I wish I would have done is instead of using blue LEDs, is to have used cool white LEDs. I think that would have been a little more uh, movie replica accurate. But blue is what I had, and that's what I used. So the reactor is set in this base, which is a coffee can, and it has Velcro on the back to attach to the harness that I made so you can attach it to yourself. I made the harness with another piece of that Lexan uh, disc cut out of it and Velcro uh, stuck to that on a belt. So this belt will go around your chest and it will just Velcro right to your chest. I'll uh, show you a picture of that on me. You put this uh, harness on just like you put a belt on so except you're going to put it around your chest. So put this on and then I'll attach it to you and show you. I would have preferred to do this with a black belt, but this is kind of what I had at the time. Let's turn that around here. Um, you can hide this harness by uh, wearing a jacket, or you can just wear um, a light colored shirt to where this will uh, shine through it. That it sits on there like that with the Velcro. And it's stuck on there pretty good. Please subscribe or share this video because um, in the future I'll be finishing a portal gun. Here's just a sneak peek of the stuff I've started on it. Alright, like and subscribe. Thank you.